Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, Defender's Quest is a game that, mm, well, I've had some issues with over the years, but it's a game where they take uh, tower defense and they add a plot and character depth and make it more interesting. A lot like Puzzle Quest did for uh, Match 3, this does for tower defense. It's a great game, it's an interesting game, and it's one that's definitely worth your attention. However, I've never recommended it. I think I did a video way back, like when I first started the channel on this, um, where I said basically don't buy it even though it's a great game. The reason I said don't buy it was because up until recently, up until this DX Deluxe update thing, um, you've needed to Dope Air. Now, here's the actual developer's website. Look, here they are, Defenders Quest official website. Um, there's seven steps to get working. There's step one, one line. Step two, one line. Step three, boom. <laughs> yeah, you have to have a lot of faff in to get this bloody thing to work properly in Linux. Um, all because of Adobe Air, which is, oh man, I hate it when people build their games and other people's technology like this, it winds me up. But anyway, that's been addressed. Um, I did this once when I first bought the game, and then I changed distro, uh, distro hopped, and I never set it up again, because I, frankly, I was like, it's too much too much hassle, don't want don't to bother. Um, but now they've addressed that, so we have to give them props for that. Um, and they've addressed that by uh, making a DX edition that's not based on Adobe Air. Uh, the game requires... A minimum of 1.5 gigahertz single core, which is nice to see single core. Most people specify dual core of habit. Um, one gigabyte of RAM, 100 megabyte hard drive space, and any sound, anything will do. It's, it's fine, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, so let's have a look at the game, shall we? Uh, the game is launched here. Okay, ah, that's actually not at all what I want there. Uh, close that. Let's try that again, shall we? Uh, so let's launch the game. Right, when you launch the game now, you get the option of two options. You get legacy version not recommended or deluxe version recommended. These options should be swapped around in my opinion. So the deluxe version is the default, but that's a small gripe really. Um, obviously on my system, if I launch the legacy version, nothing happens because it just fails because I don't have Adobe Air installed. Um, if I play the uh, deluxe version though, give it a few seconds. And it's very loud. Let's have a look. There we go. Doop. There we go. That should do it. Okay, so there's Defender's Quest. Uh, if you go into options, you'll see that we've got a reasonable amount of video options picking resolution here. Uh, standard and 4x3. We have a few choices. Cutscenes, HD original. Sprites, HD original. Mouse cursor. Fancy, I think we should go with. Uh, particles, 100% seems fine. And uh, pre-battle animation, yep. And highlight area attacks. Now... It's weird because I looked at this word and I was hit hi it, hit it, hi what, what are they trying to say there? Uh, and then I went on uh, Wikipedia to find my answer, which is uh, Wikipedia says highlight noun, the misspelling of highlight. So yeah, that was that was a bit confusing. They've actually got a spanner in their game, which is a bit disappointing. But these things happen and they're a little bit amusing, aren't they? So let's have a look at the game, shall we? Uh, start a game. We'll start a new game. Uh, new game. Play. That's right, I'm calling my character Sexy Hexy. Ooh, my name is Sexy Hexy. It's brilliant. You can see now it goes through the story as this slideshow, which is very good. It's like reading a comic book, actually. It's, it's not bad. I've not, I've not got any issues with it, really. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, it's an interesting way of doing it, rather than having like animated sprites. It's just literally just like a storybook. Uh, this tutorial system here is annoying, but actually does quite a good job. So if we go to battle now, begin the battle, uh, and again we have a little storyboard piece, no animation whatsoever. Uh, really, it's fine though. It's, it's, it tells the story really well, and uh, you can actually appreciate this rather nice art. You can actually stop and take a time, but we'll skip that for now because of spoilers. Uh, right, the tutorial, oh there we go, a little bit more dialogue, and then we get the tutorial pop-up to start. This is your main character, she can't move. Um, this is where the enemies come from. Don't let them reach Sexy Hexy. <laughs> it's brilliant. Sexy Hexy says, hey, stranger. And then we get a, a Berserker character here uh, who, who insists on talking. We'll skip a lot of the plot because we just did a video, not the plot video. Shows the Berserker. There you go. Select the Berserker and it tells us where to put him. So obviously we want to put our Berserker there. Yeah, this is a good spot. Uh, and now we'll see the tower defense glory. Let's just skip all this. We know how to play this. Uh, speed one. Okay, there you go. So the bad guys come. Let's put on speed. There you go. The bad guys come, and then when they're in range, he takes a swipe. Very straightforward tower defense. 
as the as the game goes on, you get these boosts. Look, so you can use fifty of. Oh, hold on, let's get past this. Right, we hit the boost button when this as the game goes on. This PSI thing builds up. You hit boost, and the idea is sexy hexy <laughs> uses her magic powers to boost this character, who then can uh, be more killy and more stabby uh, and get more damage. Basically, as the game goes on, though, you uh, you get more characters to select from, and you get like a proper deck and a team you can put together, and then you can lay them out and. Um, Obviously, you're constantly managing your PSI uh, against uh, the boost you want to give each character, um, and then the skill sets, etc. The game does get more deep. I don't want to jump into a longer game because I'm going to have to play it to get that point for you. But uh, trust me, it gets uh, a little bit more frantic, and it becomes a really quality tower defense game with some really nice ideas and some excellent storytelling as well. And also, you can put it to 16 speed, so you can really play through them levels. So if you get a layout, you're like, I know I'm going to win this, just boom 16 speed and pretty much auto resolve that bad boy here's the screen here uh, at the end of every level where you get uh, where you get to level up if you've got enough points uh, and you get to level up your dudes as well and obviously there's just each one's got their own skill tree uh, the game basically is very good and now that we don't have uh, adobe air to worry about oh no way we can call this guy big balls oh man i forgot my space in big balls what am i doing so yeah, uh, all in all, I'd have to I'd have to recommend this game. It's pretty good, um, and I like what they've done with the DX. They've really they've they've tuned the graphics. It looks less um, intentionally retro because the old graphics was a little bit more uh, pixel arty, and now they look a bit more hand drawn. And I think, given the amount of pixel art stuff that's on the planet now, I think it's nice to sort of if you do an upscale version, to actually upscale it away from pixel away from that sort of pixel art style. All in all, definitely a fan of it, and definitely think it's worth your attention. Um, the sequel also, according to the website, the sequel is in development. Uh, where was that? There we go. The sequel's in development as well, um, which is interesting enough. And hopefully, they won't launch it on Adobe Air off the bat. Um, looks like visually, it's going to be a little bit more in this style, in the newer style, with with this um, almost 16-bit sega -y style, um, which I like sort of, um, yeah. So it's sort of, uh, I'm thinking Rocketeers and that sort of thing. And what's that game with the, uh, with the, the, the genie. Shantae with the hair. The genie. Shantae. There we go. Uh, all the words are difficult now. But yeah, definitely worth checking out and keeping an on the sequel because I have a feeling it's going to be interesting. Uh, I think apparently you can pre-order the sequel as well, which might be interesting. Pre-order $15. Mm, seems perfectly reasonable. Perfectly reasonable, actually. Uh, so thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this and you should check out Defender's Quest because it's nice to see them take an old game that was shitty and make it good. Just that's brilliant that we want more of that. So thank you. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and you'll get more of these sorts of videos from me. If you didn't like it, that's fine too. I can live with that. Thanks for watching though. 